Dum de dum de dum. Oh, oh my God! What is this strange building I've never seen before? Let's check it out. Hmm, a combination lock. I bet it's like other faulty combination locks where you can just press buttons and if spam them enough, it'll just open. What? Oh wait, what is it? what's this? Sudden realization. I feel like combination is three one four two. But I should probably reset it first. I'm like, um, okay. Three, one, four, two. Oh my god, it works perfectly. Hello, viewers. If you weren't fooled by my incredible acting capabilities, <laughs> this is actually not something we came across obviously this is drew's combination lock because i'm a dumbass and don't know anything about redstone so he is the mastermind behind this yep and basically about build no redstone <laughs> basically it's just like any other uh, any other any other combination lock but the difference between theirs and mine is that you can't randomly spam the buttons and eventually get the combination right because order exclusive <laughs> because every button is hooked up to an RS nor latch and that leads to whatever that means <laughs> that leads to one end of an AND gate and once all four buttons are pressed this AND gate and this AND gate are both activated which then trips this AND gate which then sends a signal here and resets the entire combination lock as if you didn't push any buttons so in theory if you don't know the combination there is no possible way you're going to get in unless you unless you get really lucky yeah and once you get it right it will trip this rs nor latch so that even after the lock is reset uh this half of this and gate will be tripped so you can still you have enough time to push the enter button well you can push, it doesn't matter when you push the enter button. But uh, if you could spam, well, just hit one, two, three, four for me. Okay. So as you can see, all of the, or both AND gates are going to trip. And then that trips that one, resets the entire thing, and as you can see, they, he has made no progress. But if he enters the right combination, which is three, one, four, two, the. After hitting the reset button. Well, you don't have to, but it's always good to. But as I found out the hard way <laughs> during our first take of my intro, and then I almost did it again the second time. <laughs> as you can see, like, he quickly recovered. And then so. in the middle, I was like, oh, what am I doing? But uh, <laughs> yeah, right, if so you, you enter the right, right combination, combination, 3142, as you can see, the torches should trip. And... The whole thing is reset, but if we go to this RS nor latch, you can see it's been tripped. So half of this and gate is off. Now if you push the enter button, please, it yes. trips the other half, opens the door, starts this timer, so then that shuts the door, and this one simply resets that RS nor latch. And that's basically it. So yes, and I assume you can pretty much do however many numbers you need to, or... Yep, you just keep extending it and adding more AND gates and stuff. Or... And I then... Guess... Go ahead. Yeah, never mind. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> and then for, uh... <laughs> for... That's pretty sad. Yeah. But, um... Just to prevent... And if this is going to be used in, like, an adventure map or something, to prevent any stuck redstone, like, that... Sometimes redstone gets stuck in the on position. This pressure pad is basically the same as the reset button, so it resets everything before you even put in a combination. So, yeah. If so, yeah, this would be good. You want to do a multiplayer server or something, or maybe you're making an adventure map and you want to put a combination somewhere. Yep, you should yeah. probably use something like this rather than just this end part. But um, if you guys would like to see a tutorial, I'd be happy to do so. So, 
yeah, that about sums this up. And we will see you in the next video. Goodbye.